So it's been a little while since I've gone flying. The past few months have been kind of crazy with school, but I finally finished my aerospace engineering degree and graduated college. Pedro Julian Saldariaga. And it's also time for me to do my biennial flight review, so I wanted to do something different and challenging instead of just flying in the Cessna 172. So today, I'm down here at Wright Rudder Aviation, and we're gonna be flying in the Piper Colt. Built in 1961, this Piper Colt was originally made with a tricycle landing gear to compete with the trainers like the Cessna 150. It has a 108 horsepower Lycoming engine and is from the family of short wing Pipers including the Vagabond, Clipper and Pacer. This one was eventually converted into a tail dragger and would be the first tailwheel airplane with a yoke that I have ever flown. This Colt was given some upgrades like a lengthened wing and vortex generators. It would end up being a good challenge to fly, so join me as I hone in some tailwheel skills. Inverness Airport. Automated weather observation. One niner five four Zulu weather. Visibility one zero six thousand five hundred. Scattered temperature. Inverness traffic. Pepper cold five zero one one Zulu at Inver at uh, light rudder aviation taxiing to runway zero one via Alpha Inverness. Very good. And on the way there, just get used to how it taxis. This will feel quite a bit different than the Cub, right? Because it's uh, heavier, but it's short coupled, right? So the right. distance from the main landing gear to the tailwheel is uh, shorter. This is the uh, first uh, short wing Piper that I've ever been in. Cool, cool. Yeah, so this one has a couple modifications, like we talked about. It does have uh, one extra rib in each of the wings, so it's a slightly longer uh, wing than a, a traditional. Colt would have, and then we have vortex generators on the wings as well. All right, so a couple modifications to make it uh, fly a little bit nicer, you know. Inverness traffic, Piper Colt 5011 Zulu departing runway 01 to the north, Inverness. So let's, uh, let's hit it. Yep, so we're gonna follow the center line and get in position. The takeoff is gonna be similar to the Cub, you're just gonna uh, yoke full forward. And the center line with rudder pedals as needed, which you will need some, of course. Okay, and then uh, we're going to accelerate, make sure we have a minimum of, uh, let's say, 2200 RPM. Once we have that, we'll accelerate. Check our airspeed indicator. Once we have 60, we're going to make sure we're accelerating. Once we have 60, we're going to rotate. I'm out at 65. Okay, put the elevator back until we have some speed and then slowly start pushing oh. it forward. We usually just go full forward. Okay. All right. Go full forward now. All right. There we go. Slowly, smoothly apply full throttle. Forward up more. Okay, stay straight. Okay. And airspeed coming on, rotate at 60. I'm out of 65. Good city with heavy, Kaha. Two four six zero on par. Viner, Ronnie, Niner. Good city with heavy. Alright, been a while since you've been in a tail wheel, huh? <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Command. That means we control our airspeed with 
with our uh, uh, nose. With our pitch correct and our lead controller, altitude with power. What kind of RPM setting do you like for slow flight? Well, so it really depends, so you got to be dynamic with it. Where you're at right now is okay, but you need to descend, so you need to reduce power. But, so where you're at right now, we'll get to there in a minute, so you need to reduce power at the moment and pitch up. Okay, there's about 50. Now you can go ahead and reduce again and reduce your power to about 15. And let's go ahead and descend in slow flight down to our target altitude. Now once you begin a descent in slow flight, okay, it's hard to regain that altitude. So once you see, see uh, vertical speed just went crazy just with 200 RPM the decrease, right? Right. But that's good because we need to get down to 2,000. But now you need to anticipate when you need to add power back in and add it a little bit beforehand. And our goal now is hopefully we're stabilized at 2,000 feet and 50 miles an hour. Let's go ahead and do a gentle left turn. And about right there. That'll be like pan stop. You can't see it because of our angle of attack right out there, if you believe me. Alright, so let's go ahead and um, let's just go into the power on stall. Just keep everything the same and stall it and nose down to recover. Keep your wings level, ball in the center, very important so we don't initiate a spin accidentally. And just pitch up until we induce the stall. Like you're coming in for landing. Yep. And then and then pull it. I guess that's <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so that was fun. Uh, so to get this airplane to stall, you have to be really aggressive as okay. you can see. Uh, um I mean, that, that was good. So let's go ahead and add power, climb back to two thousand. And then put your nose down a little bit and get 80, 80 miles an hour indicated. And then just pull back a little bit more aggressively to see if we can get her to stall. All right, so I'm down and pitch, 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 pitch. Good. I bet we'll get a stall out of it this time. Ah. Well, see, even if you try, it's difficult to do. That's okay. So we did about half an hour so far. So let's go ahead and listen in. I'm sure they're using runway one again, and we'll join at the 45 to the right downwind. Okay. I think you want to reduce your power to say 1600 RPM. Put your nose down, gain some airspeed on the way down. Okay, so we're going to begin with a three point landing. Remember, three point landing is also known as a stall land. Okay. Basically, when we want to come in, we're looking for about 80 on final. We're going to do a gentle flare about three feet above the ground. Lead okay. off some airspeed, get a little closer to the ground, and bring that yoke all the way back. And when that yoke comes all the way back, simultaneously, all three tires should touch the ground. Okay. It's very important in parallel airplane that our direction of travel is parallel to the runway, which is parallel to the tires. Right. Keep the nose straight. Yep. Inverness traffic, fiber cold turning final runway zero one Inverness. Yeah, no flaps, fuel pump, or landing gear to bring down or anything like that. down a little bit, nose down a little bit, nose down a little bit. Okay, gentle flare, a little bit more right air on here. Let me help you. We gotta get center line. And there we go. So we want it all the way full right air on all the way back. Okay. Okay. Hold that, we'll let it slow down a little bit. Okay. Now you can go ahead and add some power and then you'll pull forward. So pull forward, pull forward, pull forward, stay straight. Pull forward. Okay, that's and, okay, we have our airspeed 60 pop up, and 65 on the climb. Okay, now fly level, get that ball in the middle. Get that ball in the middle. And we're crowded and climbing to 65 instead of 80. Alright, cool. <laughs> I helped you a little bit there, but that was pretty good. 
I, yeah, I think I can get it. I think I can. It's, it's not too bad. It's the same thing as last time. We just needed a little bit more aileron than the last time. Okay. I get lower. Back, 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 back. Okay, there we go. Alright, power? Yep. And forward. There we go, tails up. Full power, stay straight. Go four. And 65 on the climber. Okay, sweet. So we're still letting the wind push us a little bit. And then, when we flared, we were bringing it back, which was nice, but then we kind of pulled us a little bit. It was a I shouldn't even use that term, but we just drifted up a little bit. It got a little bit high for that, when we finally touched down, it was a little bit of a drop, but not a major. But, um, hey, that's just part of getting to know the aircraft and the wind and all that kind of stuff. It seemed like it was going to be harder than it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, it's really not bad at all. I, I don't know if you've been touching the pedals too much, but it tracks straight, great. No, I didn't, yeah, I didn't touch the pedals at all. Very cool, man. This is exciting. Yeah, the course is cool because it's, it's kind of a, you know, lower cost airplane, but it's still very unique, so it attracts attention everywhere you go, which is super cool. Yeah. Inverness traffic, fiber cold, turning final, runway 01, Inverness. Try to get on center line. Sweet! That was all you. Awesome, man. Yeah, the Colts is a piece of history, you know? It's, uh, we love vintage airplanes here. And, uh, we really enjoy having a diverse fleet because the more airplanes you fly, like I said, you understand how this airplane stalls, and that airplane stalls, and how this rolls, and, and it gets to where, you know, like I, like I fly so many airplanes that just hop in and it doesn't matter. Thank you all for watching, and if you haven't yet, make sure to like this video and hit subscribe. Also, thank you to the people down at Right Rotary Aviation for a great flight review. They have an awesome fleet of all sorts of planes to learn in and rent. Make sure to check them out. Until then, Blue skies, and I'll see you on the next flight.